How do you get all of that energy your body needs? Your digestive system breaks down all that food you eat. Here's a quick tutorial of how your organs do work together. Breaking down food to fuel your body, making it run better. It starts with your teeth, grinding up all your food. This is called mastication. In this video, it's true. The tongue makes the saliva produced from salivary glands, making food much softer to move on with its digestive plan. When you swallow your food after it's been chewed, it passes the epiglottis, which covers the trachea in you. Then the upper esophageal sphincter will stay closed until the brain tells it to open to let your food go. When your food's in your esophagus, peristalsis occurs. That's when your circular and longitudinal muscles will work. These two muscles contract in a wave motion shown, pushing your food toward your stomach's main digestive zone. Peristalsis brings the food to your stomach's top, where your lower esophageal sphincter lets food drop. Once the food is in your stomach, the lower sphincter closes tight in order to keep your stomach acid out of sight. The stomach's hydrochloric acid and digestive enzymes are in charge of breaking down the food this chyme is passed through your pyloric sphincter in you and me In the duodenum, the first part of the small intestines three The duodenum mixes the digestive juices from your liver, pancreas, and gallbladder Then on it will run, preparing your chyme to be passed to your jejunum This is where your small intestine starts the absorption Your jejunum's your second segment, I hope you're not bored That's where most of your food nutrients will be absorbed after your jejunum gets all the nutrients it needs the chyme is passed to the ileum which concludes my parts of three the ileum absorbs the remaining nutrients before beginning the journey into your large intestine the large intestine's biggest job is absorbing water from your chyme if it didn't perform this function you'd have loose stools all the time the large intestine has millions of bacteria that do work. E. coli is an important one. Here's its important perks. E. coli breaks down all the chyme that your body can't digest and produces vitamin K that regulates blood clotting at best. Then the large intestine has another important part to play. It excretes all your waste to help your body stay healthy. How do you get all of that energy your body needs? Your digestive system breaks down all that food you eat. Here's a quick tutorial of how your organs do work together, breaking down